Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make an adorable heart pillow that you can make with or without ruffle fabric, and it comes in three sizes. For this pattern, you will need the following. A printed out version of the free PDF pattern that's available on FleeceFun.com, two thirds of a yard of a fleece for a large heart, a half a yard for a medium heart, and a third of a yard for a small heart. If you're doing the ruffle fabric, you will need this in addition to the fleece I just mentioned. You'll need two-thirds of a yard for large, a half a yard for medium, and a third of a yard for small. A rotary cutter, ruler, and mat, thread and needle, and of course polyfill. Once you have all those items gathered, it's time to get started. Once you have properly assembled the pattern, you'll need to decide what size of heart you're going to make and cut it to the cut the pattern to the right size. Once you've done that, you're going to place the pattern on a fold and you're going to cut out one heart. And then you'll cut out another heart. So you're going to do that twice. Place it on the fold, cut out once, place it on the fold, cut out again for two hearts. Now if you're working with ruffle fabric, you have to pay attention to a couple of things. One is the way the directions the ruffles lie. There's a right way and a wrong way for the fabric to lie. So pay attention to that. You want the ruffles to lay flat and nicely on your pillow. So make sure that you have the heart um, when you go to pin it, that all the ruffles are facing the right direction. The other thing is when you go to pin it is make sure that all the ruffles are laying flat. So just take time to straighten them out a little bit and then pin on your pattern and cut it out. So for the ruffle pillow pattern, you'll have a total of four hearts, two out of ruffle fabric and two out of fleece. You'll then need to cut out the side strips for the pillow using your rotary cutter and mat. For a large, it will be a strip that is 3.5 inches wide by 71 inches long. You'll need to sew a couple of strips together to get that length. For medium, it will be 3.5 inches by 58 inches. And then for a small, it'll be 3.5 inches wide by 43 inches in length. Now one additional step before we get started that you'll need to do if you're making the heart with the ruffle fabric is because the ruffle fabric is stretching a little see-through, you're going to need to mount it to the fleece. So what you're going to do is you're going to place the ruffle fabric wrong side on top of right side of the fleece and you're going to pin it all the way around making sure that all the ruffles are laying flat and nice and then using a quarter inch seam allowance you're going to sew all the way around your heart and that will just help the ruffles stay flat and it will help you in working with the ruffle fabric. With right sides together you're going to pin the strip all the way around your heart okay and you're going to sew the ends of the strip where that meets up together um, and they should overlap at least a half an inch. Sew those together Then once it's pinned all the way around you're going to sew all the way around using a half inch seam allowance. Now that the side is on, let's get started with the back. Now we're going to attach the back, pretty much using the same process as we did for the front. So you're going to pin it all the way around, but you're going to make sure you leave a good 4 inch gap for stuffing and for turning. So pin it all the way around, then using a half inch seam allowance, sew all the way around, leaving that gap open. Snip your threads, and then you're also going to want to snip the fabric at the curves and at the points just to make sure that it'll look really nice once it's turned right side out. Turn it right side out. Now that you've turned it right side out, it's time to stuff the pillow. Now it's time to stuff the pillow. So taking your polyfill, you're going to stuff the pillow to the firmness that you want, making sure you make sure it's popped out really nice and it looks really good. So just keep stuffing it till it's the firmness that you desire. All right, last step. Now it's time to finish up the pillow. Using a needle and thread, you're going to blind stitch the gap closed. So you're just going to get in there and make nice little stitches. Stitching that gap closed, you're going to tie it off, trim your threads, and you're finished. 
If you like this pattern, I have several others you might also enjoy. One is the star pillow pattern, a great pillow that comes in a star form that also comes in different sizes. You might also like the easy ribbon pillow, a great first sewing project that is fast, fun, and easy. Please visit my website, fleecefun.com. All my patterns and tutorials are free. You can also visit Fleece Fun on Facebook and on Pinterest. Have a great day, and remember, velvet is pretentious, fleece is fun.